Good morning everyone, this is Tim Wilmot speaking from Wizard Systems. Thanks for joining me this morning for this presentation to show you the capabilities of Workbook CRM and what areas of your business it can address and how my company, Wizard Systems, can help you with any CRM project you're contemplating there. Now, this presentation will be approximately 30 minutes or so. Uh, so this is just a, a, a basic session. Everyone, every company uses CRM in different ways. Everyone's got different requirements and I wouldn't have enough time this morning to go over all of the extensive capabilities of, of workbooks. So I'd encourage you um, after today's session, if you want a deeper dive into the system, um, please contact us at Wizard Systems. We only to, to help to, to uh, go through the, the system in more detail um, specifically with you to, to address your your questions. Also on the call today we've got some people that are already trialing workbooks. Um, for those of you that don't know there is a free trial of workbooks so you can put it through its paces. And some of you on the call have never seen it at all so excuse me if I'm going over some old ground here um, that you may know, know already about workbooks but I need to go at the speed of the, the slowest so to speak. Now the audio part of this presentation is one way only. If you've got any questions, please type those into the question box on your meeting control panel and I'll do my best to cover those towards the end of the session. Uh, also this session is being recorded, so after the presentation you will receive an email uh, with a link to recording which you could share with your colleagues if you wish. Okay, so let's get started. First of all, a little bit of information about Wizard Systems. We are based in Bristol. We cover the whole of the UK and all we do is CRM. We don't do anything else. We've done this for well over a couple of decades now. And of course, with workbooks, you subscribe to the system. We have some clients that uh, do their own thing. They, they learn how to set the system up. Um, it's not particularly difficult. They learn how to use it themselves. There are lots of help resources out there and a very active YouTube channel. But if you need, if your company needs some assistance in analyzing your requirements, um, setting up the system, migrating data, transferring data from the old system to the new system, maybe you've got data in Excel spreadsheets or various Excel spreadsheets, we can assist you there and customizing the system to your requirements. We can help with training. We can do training at your premises. Um, you can come to our training center or we can do training online. Sort of similar to how we're doing the call today but a lot more interactive. And we provide uh, ongoing help desk support. We've got a number of um, support options there with again online assistance for you. So please bear that in mind. Be realistic. Have you got enough time? Have you got the skills? Have you got the resource to, to um, set the system up yourself? So what are you looking to achieve with the CRM system? Well, everyone has different issues. They may be looking to solve different objectives they're trying to achieve. Are you looking for improvement in sales productivity? Are you a startup company and you're, you're looking for a system to manage your leads, your inquiries, and your potential business? Are you looking for better reporting? Uh, better marketing, better support of your clients or, you know, a combination of, of, of all of those. Uh, so that's really what we want to get to the bottom of, of any, any further follow-up with your company is what do you want out of the system? How, how are you going to measure the success of your investment in a workbook CRM solution? So what is workbooks then? Well, obviously it's a central system to manage all of your uh, information about your business contacts and sharing that information with your team so you're working better um, as a team there sharing that information tracking your interactions with those people there's some marketing tools in there to help you be more proactive and targeted with your communications unusually for a CRM system we're able to do uh, built into the system we're able to do sales quotations and there's an option for creating sales orders and invoices. Now there's two different editions of workbooks. When you sign up for workbooks you've got two choices. You go for CRM edition or business edition and you can mix and match these two editions. 
Basically, Business Edition allows you to create sales orders and invoices. So if you want to track any financial documents there, transactions, then Business Edition is the one for you. And you can mix and match the two together. So if, for example, you're 10 users, you could have, uh, let's say, seven people on CRM and three people on business, if you wish. So you can mix and match those two. Uh, we also combine in the system, in both editions, customer service. So if you've got any customer care people, um, support people, service people, they too can use the system, thereby improving better teamwork in your company. And of course, as well as it being a personal productivity tool, it's a great management tool to help you make better decisions, control the business more, more effectively. And Workbooks was launched some time ago. There's, uh, this is quite an old slide actually now, there's well over 12,000 companies using Workbooks now in the UK. Um, in fact, it's, it's used worldwide. There's, there's many sites as well in, in a number of different countries, the US, Canada, Australia, and further afield as well. And it's a UK system. All the data is in the UK. It's 100% cloud. There's nothing to install. You don't need to worry about upgrades or updates. All the data is very, very secure um, uh, held for you, all in the UK. So just um, covering now contact management. This is the key part of any CRM solution, how you centrally manage all of your contacts. So you've got a ready-made database with workbooks. In fact, you can create up to five separate databases if you wish with your subscription. But in reality, most people have everyone in one database. You can customize the database system as well. So when I shortly show you the system, the screens you see, nearly all of the screens you see, you can change what you see. You can remove fields, you can add new fields, add new options um, as you wish. You can also deploy different security levels as well. Um, so I was speaking with a company last week that had, that had salespeople in different teams and they wanted to make sure that Team A couldn't see Team B's uh, contacts and opportunities. Well, you can do that with, with workbooks if you wish. You can have different levels of security to prevent people seeing information, deleting information, changing information if you want to. You're managing all of your activities in workbooks. Your, your daily schedule is in there. This controls your working day. So reminders of follow-up phone calls, appointments, tasks are in there. Um, all visible against the, the customer's record, so you can see that against the, your, your customer, all of the things that you've done, all of the things your colleagues have done, all built in there. We've got email integration. We can interface with any email system, and there's a very nice optional uh, Outlook integration. So this is optional. It does cost a little bit extra. But this Outlook integration allows you to link with Outlook emails so as you send and receive your emails, you click on a very simple button, and that will copy the email from Outlook together with any attachments into the workbook system, stored, uh, visible, against the customer on a special little email tab against the client's record. Also with that Outlook integration, you're able to share your customer activities in a two-way direction. So you could put an appointment, a calendar, activity into the Outlook calendar, and that will pop up in, in workbooks and vice versa. So a nice um, uh, bit of Outlook integration that we've got there, if you wish. But we can also interface with any email system. If you're using Apple Mail, Gmail, Yahoo, we can interface and integrate with those as well. And mobile access is included. You get a separate um, log-on URL uh, from, for your smartphone or tablet. And when you log on through those devices, you'll get a, a simpler version of workbooks rendered for the smaller screen. Um, but, but all of the key capabilities are in there to manage your contacts, your activities, your opportunities, your service calls, and so on. Um, so mobile access included. And we're, we're going to be shortly launching a downloadable app for Apple devices. So if you're using an iPhone or iPad, um, that will be included as part of the subscription. Now, marketing. Uh, many of you may be doing right now some email marketing, but what we, what we have with workbooks is a way of integrating your email marketing activity and other marketing campaigns directly with your CRM database.
So workbooks, of course, is going to be the central place where you store your, your contacts, how you profile them, how you categorize them. You can easily create lists of people in workbooks. So people having some common criteria, they, they have the same job title, the same job role, they're in a certain market sector, they, they've purchased a certain product from you, they're interested in a certain product area. You can create those lists on one or many of that, uh, that criteria there. And you can import data into workbooks if you've got an Excel spreadsheet or you acquire data or you've just gone to a trade show and you've got a, an Excel spreadsheet of names and addresses of people that visited your stand. You can easily upload that information into workbooks and the flip side of that, you can export any data out of workbooks. If the data is in workbooks, you can export it out um, in a CSV, comma, separated value or Excel database format. Now, as regards email marketing, we integrate, this is included with your subscription, we integrate with three very well-known systems, MailChimp, Constant Contact, and DotMailer. So you create your list in workbooks, that list is uploaded by the system, it's uploaded for you to one of those accounts. Of course, those, those three systems there, they are, they are the solutions for creating your email, your nice professional email, delivering the email, but then with the integration, importantly, coming back into workbooks is information on the responses to that email. So, so you can see against your client's record what emails they were sent, what emails they opened, what links within the email they clicked on, and also two other things, looking at uh, hard bounces, so maybe the email address doesn't exist anymore, um, we can see that in workbooks, uh, plus opt-out um, information as well. So if the client unsubscribes, that's visible in workbooks. And of course, with those three systems, um, it's pretty much impossible to to resend emails to people that have that have unsubscribed from you. We also have uh, in workbooks a way of integrating to web forms. So on your contact us part of your company website, organization website, do you have um, a form there that you're inviting people to fill in. Well, with workbooks, when they fill in that form and they hit submit, that becomes a record in the workbooks database. And workbooks has also got some automation and workflow. So you could define one or many rules or steps that, that now will happen to this, this, this new inquiry. So we've got web form integration of new inquiries. Also, from a support point of view, if you offer support via the web and somebody fills in their problem on, the, on your website and hits submit, that too can become a record um, in workbooks. Now this is, this, this is um, partly a unique part of, of uh, workbooks here, the ability to do sales quotations. So any workbook system will allow you to, to, to create a sales quote. We can maintain within workbooks your product and price list. You can import your pricing information from somewhere else. So if you get price list from suppliers or it's currently in Excel, no problem. You can upload that information um, periodically to update um, the price uh, list in your, your product and price file in, in workbooks. You can also define your quote layouts. These quote layouts are stored in a PDF format um, and you can email these quotes very simply that you'll see on many screens in workbooks uh, a little email button where you can email um, that quote to the customer. Uh, so you can store different, you can define different quote layouts um, or customize with your company logo and terms and conditions so on. And you can also define different email templates as well um, in the interest of productivity, emailing directly from the workbook screen. Now we integrate with the opportunity management system of workbooks. So this again is a very important part of any CRM solution is the ability to manage your sales pipeline, your forecast sales. What business are you expecting in November, December, next quarter? Um, workbooks will give you answer to these questions. So as you do these quotes, that can be integrated with the, the opportunity there to keep your, your figures up to date. Plus, if you've got the business edition of workbooks, you've got the option when the customer wants to order, convert the quote to a sales order convert the order to an invoice. Uh, we've also got options for 
integrating to Sage 50 um, and shortly QuickBooks online as well. So if you're currently using any of those two accounting systems, we've got um, some options to discuss with you. So quickly on customer service, an easy way of managing all your customer service activity, a, a separate screen to log that service issue. It's very customizable as well. You can apply deadlines, so you're, you're sort of tracking your service level agreements there, your SLAs, um, to make sure you get back to customers on time. You're building up a wonderful history of those issues, so you can spot trends. How many issues are we getting on product X? How many problems is customer A giving you? Um, how many outstanding issues is, is, uh, is Joe dealing with right now? Um, so you can you can get answers to those typical questions, and you can build in a knowledge base in there as well. Now, just the last slide before we dive into the system proper. So, hopefully, you can see we've got a great great system now to manage all of the sales activity information. How many leads you're getting? How many phone calls you're doing? How many meetings you've got planned? Um, also, uh, you know, opportunities. What what sales are coming in next quarter? Uh, we've got a report writer built into the system, and there's approximately 50 reports in there to get you going. You can create your own reports as well. You can change any of the reports that you've got there. Those reports, you can create bar graphs and pie charts from them. You can export the information that you report on as well. And we've got nice... Uh, graphical dashboards, real-time dashboards. When you log into the system, you can see a bar graph or a pie chart on on what's going on there. Okay, so let's dive into the system. So apologies for those people that are already trialing the system, um, but for those people that haven't seen Workbooks before, here we are. I've logged into Workbooks. It will work with any browser. It will work on a Mac. Um, this isn't the mobile logon. This is the normal desktop login. But as you can see, uh, we've logged in to, to workbooks here, and it's got that familiar look and feel. It looks like your Windows desktop, do, do you see, um, with the Start button down there in the bottom left-hand corner. And from there, um, we can see our Start menu, and on that menu, here's all of the elements that build up a proper CRM solution. So access to the people in your database, the contacts in your database, the companies, organizations in the database. Activities is uh, your activity list. What are you doing today? What are you doing tomorrow? What did you do last month? What did Mary do last week? Uh, you, you can see all that there. Your emails that may have come over from Outlook or some other system. Your sales and opportunities, looking at all of the sales on the go and uh, quotations outstanding. Your marketing, this is where you've got the link to MailChimp, Constant Contact, and so on. We can manage your lists and uh, and campaigns there. So let's let's dive into people first of all. So if I click on people, up pops a window, and um, this is this is uh, very typical of many many bits of information that uh, appears in workbooks. That is displayed as a window, which can be minimized or maximized as you wish. Um, you can create shortcuts to this, this, this screen as well. So you, you could make this pop up every time you log into Workbooks if you want to. If When you log into Workbooks, you want to see a list of all of your, your, your hot prospects. That, that could be a list that's displayed every time you log in. And this display here, you can change the columns. You, you tell it what columns you want to see. Uh, also down the left-hand side here, we've got a thing called Views. These views are people, these are lists, these are separate lists of people who have some common common information. So, for example, I've got a create, I've created a list here previously of Reading customers. I click there. Well, here's all of my Reading clients, do you see? And uh, that was the filter. There's that little filter button there. That was the filter that found those people. Town starts with Reading. So it's very easy to create these lists. On, on one or many many search criteria, very easy to dive around the system there. And then if we jump into somebody's record, um, let's look at Alan here. So what information can we store about a contact, a client of ours? So this is Alan here. Um, 
Alan, a separate window has appeared with, with a number of tabs running across the top there. The main tab is the key information about Alan. Now you can, this is just pretty much the standard information that comes with workbooks. You can remove these fields if you wish. You can change uh, the pick list, the options that appear in that drop down list there. You can create your own custom fields as well. So for example, here I wanted to know what sort of interests or hobbies the client's got. Maybe I want to do marketing to um, everyone that, that's got a hobby of golf. Um, you, you can do that. So you can very easily create your own fields. And then running across the top there, you've got those tabs with a little numerical indication of the number of records lurking below there. So we've got a tab here called activities. These are your reminders, your tasks. You can create new tasks from here for yourself or a colleague and they appear here these items that these rows that are in red they're overdue so it's given me some visual indication here of activities that are outstanding and you can tailor that list to show you just outstanding activities or just completed activities you wish emails we've got three emails that we've um, recorded from the client so emails we've sent emails we retrieved are there if you're doing any marketing activity, um, say with MailChimp, that, that tab there would show you row by row the emails you've sent, the emails that have been opened, and click-throughs as well, uh, plus any unsubscribe information. Who does Alan work for? Well, on the Organizations tab here, I can see there's one record. Uh, there we are. He works for Atlantic Computer Services. So if I click on this uh, link, I dive into a company record, an organization record. And just like Alan's record, this main tab here, got the other tabs running across the top, this main tab here is the key information about this organization. Again, you can remove these fields if they're not relevant. You can add in your own fields. Those fields could be of various different types, checkbox fields, um, hyperlink fields, date fields, uh, there's about a dozen different field types that you can define. No, no programming required, it's very easy to create those fields. And like we have with Alan, we've got um, all the information across the top there, so 108 activities with this company. Oh, who, el who else works for this organization? Well, we can see there's four people there. Yes, there's Alan, but there's Fred, Gracie, John there as well. Now, opportunities. This is a key part of workbooks to many of our, our clients, our customers that use workbooks to track their um, up and coming revenue and opportunities. So we've got 12 opportunities on the go with uh, Atlantic and you can decide what columns you see here initially on this sort of summary view, but we can dive into one of these. The new, this, this project here, this sale called New Warrington Site Project, that's the the name of this opportunity, you call it what you want to, that's what it's going to look like on reports or how you may find the information. And this screen again, of course, we can change, we can customize, you can add new fields here, take fields away that aren't relevant to the information you want to know about this sale. And in the lower half of the screen, you can, if you wish, um, define the products and items that build up this, this particular opportunity. And this is where you can, uh, um, essentially, you're, you're retrieving information from the, the product and price list in, in workbooks that you've, the, the, where you store your own uh, pricing information. We've got support for multiple currencies. You can also define different pricing schemes as well. So if you have certain clients that get 10% discount off a certain item, um, then you can define that, uh, you can define those different pricing schemes there. From this screen, and there's a few ways in which you can do this, but uh, from the screen, we could create a customer quote, an order, an invoice. Oh, and there's also an option for tracking customer contracts. So do you have contracts in your business, maintenance contracts, support contracts? Uh, do, you, do you need to keep... Uh, a, a list of items that you're supporting against a customer, well, there, there's a contracts module there. There's that email button I referred to earlier, um, straight away from here. 
we could send an email directly to the client. So a very easy way of storing um, all of the opportunities against the client. If I come back down to the uh, taskbar here and select Atlantic again, wherever you see transactions, this is where you can see all of the quotes. And if you've got business edition, this is where you can see orders or invoices against this customer. And you can click on any of these and and display the information. So here's invoice number two, for example. I could click on that um, and up comes that particular invoice. Again, you can change the information that's displayed here. You can define the invoice layout right down the bottom here. These are the four items on that invoice. So very easy to create those transactions, go back to those transactions. Cases, these are support cases. So if you want to use workbooks for tracking service activity, here we are. We can dive into a support case. This is the, uh, the, the, the ticket screen, the case screen. You can customize this for your requirements. Um, but also, uh, also across the top, like we have with opportunities, we've got those tabs. So you can see um, what activities have gone on with this particular case, emails, linked documents, linked organizations, other records as well. Um, there's a handy little button down here to close all my windows. Get, get back to my clean desktop. Uh, this white box here to the right of the start button, that's a, a search box there so you can type in any word or phrase, a bit like a Google sort of search in workbooks to, to find any information. You'll never have that lost feeling. Quick mention about marketing. Um, as I say, that this is a very popular part of workbooks to integrate this with any email marketing activity with our links to MailChimp or Constant Contact or .mailer. And here we see um, in one place all of our marketing campaigns, all of the newsletters or product promotions, and you can create a new campaign from here. You can create different lists as well. We can dive into a particular campaign. And uh, just some very basic information here you, you may want to um, maintain about this, this campaign. Uh, but there's a, a unique sort of description of that campaign there. Maybe you want to track some date information. Maybe you want to know some, uh, some figures on uh, revenue expectations or costs of this campaign. Uh, running across the top there, we can see on this Members tab, these are the 10 people that are on this campaign. And they got there by us selecting them for that campaign or running off uh, a list from workbooks or running off a report. So there's a few ways of, of selecting people to add them to our campaign. But these people, um, with the links to one of those three email marketing systems, they'll, they'll be uploaded um, to one of those and then responses will come back. As we do our mailings, we'll be able to see um, in a summary view here uh, their opt-out or hard bounce information. So there we are, um, a quick run through workbooks. Uh, there's some training videos there and extensive help. There's, there's lots of help topics, a very active forum as well. Very easy to use, very affordable, quick and easy to set up. Let's just um, confirm some of the pricing information for you now. Um, so you subscribe to workbooks on an annual basis. Um, you get an invoice, a 30-day invoice from us um, for your subscription. Uh, so it's per named user. You need to add VAT on top of these. Uh, so business edition is 504 per year. So it's, it's slightly more because it does more. And we do have some options for Outlook integration, um, Sage 50, QuickBooks, multiple currencies, multiple companies, um, and other options as well. Plus, budget, if you need to, budget for some assistance from us. So, so discuss your requirements with us. Um, tell us what extra requirements you might have. Do you, want, do you want some help in migrating data from Excel into workbooks? Do you want some help on some training of your users or maybe the link with MailChimp, you want some assistance there. Um, we're here to help you out 
as 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 we can and also we've got some help desk options as well so during your use of workbooks do would you benefit from being able to phone somebody as many times as you wish and asking them questions about how do you do this in workbooks how do you do that um, or, or some query uh, we're here to to help you with that responsive um, friendly help desk service there okay uh, that brings me to uh, a, a near enough a conclusion now um, we'll now open out um, our presentation this morning to any questions of course um, you can email us whenever you want to phone us whenever you want to and remember um, we can organize a separate presentation for you uh, and and if your if your project is of a significant uh, size we could physically come and visit you in the UK at your offices so um, please let us know if you if that's what you'd like to do as a next step um, so first so spot spot the uh, question panel in your can uh, spot the question section your control panel there and type any questions you've got there um, first question from Brian um, where is my data stored uh, well, Brian, it's, it's all in the UK. There's a facility, a very secure facility in Reading, um, and also a backup facility in Heathrow. All of the data is in, in the UK there. And to be honest with you, a level of security uh, that most small, medium-sized companies couldn't afford on their own. Very, very secure. Uh, next question from Sam. Can you, get, can you transfer records from Goldmine? Um, well, Goldmine is an older style CRM system. Uh, yes, we can. Basically, we, we, we need to export the records from Goldmine. We can assist you there um, in getting the data out of Goldmine and then moving it into, into Workbook SAM. So it depends on uh, what information you want to transfer there. Um, maybe it's just basic names and addresses or you want to transfer activities or old emails. We can, we can do that for you as well. Okay, I don't think there's any more questions here. Um, so it just remains for me to uh, thank everyone for your time, your attendance this morning. Um, so just a reminder, you will be getting uh, an automated email shortly from, from us uh, with a, a link to the recording. Um, but if you want to contact us again, hopefully you will. Uh, there's our phone number, 01454 316800. We're based near Bristol. Here's my email address, tim at wizard-systems.com. I'm one of the directors here. And our website, wizard-systems.com or wizard-systems.co.uk. Well, thanks very much again, and have a nice day. And we hopefully uh, look forward to hearing from you soon about your CRM project. Thank you very much indeed.